Hey guys, Dave from WP Smackdown here, and today I want to show you how to create a favicon in WordPress. Uh, favicon you may be familiar with, and it is the icon here that shows up in the browser tab at the top of a page. You may have a lot of browser windows open at one time, and a quick and easy way to recognize which site is which is with the favicon. Now WordPress has functionality they call site icon. And the benefits of using the site icon is that this will actually not only create a favicon for you, but it will also create app icons for iPhone, Android, and Windows Phone. So if someone's on a mobile phone and they're viewing their si your site, they have the option to add your website to their home screen. What that means is it'll put an icon just like any app on their device, and when they tap that icon, it will open up a web browser and go directly to your website. So it's an easy way for a user to add a shortcut on a mobile phone. So with WordPress's site icon functionality, it takes care of all those different things for you, both the favicon and all of the app icons. So let's take a look at how to do that. I'm going to assume that you already have a favicon created. I recommend a PNG file as the file type. That's going to be your best option. Um, if you don't already have one created, I'll link up here in the video to a full article where I give you a couple of options on how to create a favicon using Adobe Photoshop as well as a free program online called Canva. So check out that article if you don't already have one created. Once you have your favicon ready to go, you'll come into your WordPress dashboard and go to Appearance and Customize. This will open up WordPress's Customizer. The option that we want here is Site Identity. Now, you may have a lot of other options here underneath Site Identity. If your WordPress theme has a ton of customization options, you'll see a lot of things here. But what's great about the Site icon in WordPress is that it's theme independent. So it doesn't matter what theme you have installed. Regardless of that, you will always have a Site Identity option. And even when you change themes, the site identity will stay there, so you won't have to change your icon again. It will remember that initial icon that you've uploaded. So I'm going to click on Site Identity. And here you'll see it gives you a couple of requirements for the site icon. Uh, it says that it has to be square and at least 512 pixels wide and tall. A couple of notes on these things. Um, when you upload an image, it doesn't actually have to be square but WordPress will make you crop it down into a square. So you can upload a much larger or rectangular image as long as the icon that you want to use is inside of that image and you can reasonably crop it to within a square, then you'll be fine. So just go ahead and upload that rectangular image. Um, just know that WordPress will make you crop that into a square after you've uploaded it. And if you upload an image larger than 512 pixels wide and tall, then uh, WordPress will crop that down to 512 by 512. You'll have your initial up image that you uploaded. Let's say you choose 800 by 800. You'll still have that in your media library, but WordPress will also create a 512 by 512 version, version for it to use. So I'm going to click Select Image, and this is going to open up WordPress's default media library. You'll see I have some icons in here that I've already uploaded, but chances are you do not have one that's in there that you want to use yet. So go ahead and pull up your Finder or your My Documents, uh, wherever you have that image located on your computer, and just drag and drop it into the media library to upload it. Down here in the bottom right corner, go ahead and choose Select. Now you have the option to crop the image. So I have a perfectly square image already, but let's say I wanted to crop it down to just show the S here in the middle and not have the circle around the outside. I can do that. It'll show you a preview of your site icon over here, what it's going to look like as an app icon if it's added to a mobile device, and then what it'll look like in a browser as well. Go ahead and click Crop Image. Here you'll see your site icon uploaded here in your customizer and all you have to do is click save and publish. And you'll notice that up here if you look in the top corner of my browser it has already updated itself to the new site icon. And that's all there is to it. Then you're ready to go and you have your favicon and all of your app icons ready to go. 
you have any questions, please leave me a comment and I will do my best to try to help you out.